What's up, Collider fans? LeBron James coming to the Los Angeles Lakers. What does it mean for his Hollywood career? We'll talk about it next. Jeff Snyder here, joined by John Roca. Saw that announcement yesterday. I got yeah. rocked on a Sunday afternoon. My brother texted me. Did you see the news? LeBron James yeah. coming to the Los Angeles Lakers. My nemesis as a Celtics fan. Yeah. A lot of people are asking, though, forget basketball. What does this mean for his Hollywood career? Mm -hmm. Space Jam 2. There's a house party reboot and development in New Line. What do you think? Yeah, there's a lot that can happen here. And a lot of people are saying already, a lot of these analysts and people who have been covering this for over a year when the rumors started circulating that he was going to come to L.A., that a big reason for him to come was because of his budding Hollywood connections, his desire to work in the business and continue. And this has been happening with athletes for the last decade. This idea of expanding the brand, multiple revenues, streams uh, a career outside of basketball when basketball is done magic johnson is a great uh a role model for that and i think he's going to take lebron under his wing for lack of a better term and show him the way to go and connect him to people here in hollywood yes lebron's already hooked up but magic knows it in and out and so to get him in there makes a lot of sense so we're going to see that i think that this bodes well for space jam 2 I mean, yeah that's really oh, what we're talking about yeah, here yeah, yeah. Um, you know, LeBron already in business in business with Warner Brothers on the animation side. He's mm -hmm. doing a voice in Smallfoot, which comes out this fall with Channing yep. Tatum and Gina Rodriguez. Um, Space Jam 2 is something that, that Warner Brothers has been kicking around for years, yep. almost since LeBron got into the league. I feel like that's when we first saw this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Justin Lin is going to be directing. He signed on two years ago, though. So mm -hmm. the project has it's been it's taken a while in development, yeah. particularly for I know these animated films take a long time. But do you think that him coming to the Lakers will speed things up a little bit? I think it will if it's what he wants to do. Absolutely. I think there'll be time in the offseason to start doing these kinds of projects. So to put him in motion, I don't know how much he wants to be in front of the camera, though. I don't know how much he wants to be voiceover because product producing seems more where he wants to go. But that being said, if LeBron wants to do it, I think this you definitely get him in motion like, to get this done. Do you think that he'll do it like if he waits until after he retires from basketball or will he do it while he's an active player? Oh, no, I think while he's an active player, that's going to bring should. people in. Yeah, Jordan was some still active when he did right. uh, uh, Space Jam. So you want to kind of mirror that. Are there any other NBA players who you'd like to see in Space Jam 2 alongside LeBron? Sure. Uh, well, Kyrie Irving, who just came out of Uncle Drew, did so well. It's an interesting way to play with a rivalry there as well. He could be uh, a villain, maybe? He could be a villain. That's certainly possible. Chris Porzingis has a great name uh, coming out of New York. He's a guy you could take a look at. Lonzo Ball, why not? You put a, he seems like an animated character already. Throw him in that with his dad. <laughs> why not? You throw a bunch of people in here. Uh, I think you can play around even with uh, if, if uh, Jason Lynn, or is it Justin Lynn? Or was Justin Lynn. Justin, Justin Lynn is still in the NBA. Lynn Sanity can jump through. Why not? That's a way to go to the international market. There's a lot of game a lot of people you can put in these movies that i think would be a lot and james harden how can you not have the beard in there or russell westbrook could also be a villain as well and steph the, curry the looney tunes though, don't seem Green. to be as big as they used to be when space no, jam first right. came out there's it's just true. so many more animated options these yeah. days so i you know i wonder if a space jam would replicate the success a sequel would replicate the success of the original mm. i don't know how much a soundtrack would play into that too yeah God, that Space Jam soundtrack was so good. Can't do and then no there's R. Kelly this time. Yeah. And then you know LeBron uh, and along with Maverick Carter, uh, his business partner, mm -hmm. they are producing a whole number of projects through Spring Hill Entertainment. The biggest one of those, those is the House Party mm -hmm. reboot. Mm -hmm. You remember those movies with Kid and Play? I do. Uh, so, like, who would you like to see replace Kid and Play in these movies? Well, it's, I mean, Kid and Play was already an established rap group. So, like, who are you going to get through here? But I think you got to find good actors. Shamik Moore is someone that I was looking at that could be interesting. He's only 20 years old. Certainly could look like he's and still in high school. He, oh, he's Miles Morales. Right? Yeah, Miles Morales. He's someone that I would love to see come, coming through that kind of thing. I think it's certainly possible to play with him. I think uh, Caleb McLaughlin, uh, he's 16. He's, yeah. he's uh, the kid on Stranger Things. He would be really interesting. Jaden Smith is only is only 20. Uh, Jaden Smith seems a real good He choice. was really good in that Karate Kid reboot. Like, yeah. this, this may be the next good reboot for him. Yeah. I also like uh, Jocking Guillory. Yeah. He was in Kicks. Yeah, I like uh, him. A whole, bu whole bunch of interesting young actors out there. Skyland Brooks, Justice Smith, Jacob Black. Adam or Alex Hibbert. It's all about how old they want to go yeah. uh, with uh, that, that high school party movie. But I also think he's gonna he's got to stop like, focusing on newer projects as well, more original projects. Right. Both these projects are '90s projects, Space Jam and House Party. So I don't think he wants to just kind of redo what Jordan did. I think he wants to kind of strike out on his own as well. And so we'll see what other projects he's gonna create. There's for young one, black actress. There's one project where there's a big bidding war. It was called Hustle about like an, a former NBA scout who goes over to China to find like the hot young thing, oh, hoping wow. that it will, that that player will get him. 
come back to the NBA. Yep. That sounds kind of interesting. Yep. I don't know. I think I think uh, LeBron in LA bodes well for his Hollywood career. You know, he's he's already producing a whole bunch of stuff. I think you're only going to see more development come out of Spring Hill. Yeah. Uh, and like John said, more more original stuff. Yeah. The Clippers, you had a nice run. It's time for LA to take the Lakers to take back the city, and LeBron's how you do it. All right. So I don't know if you guys care about sports, but let us know what you think about LeBron coming to the Lakers, what that means for his Hollywood career as a producer, as an actor. Uh, do you want to see more of LeBron on the big screen? He was in yeah. Train Wreck. I thought yeah, he demonstrated himself good, very man. well. So yeah. we'll see. Leave a comment. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Collider for more videos like this.